Hello everyone, William Huck here. We are actually, I'm actually not too far from the actual fracking site where it's just right down the road in that direction. But something interesting happened yesterday. A, uh, the water pressure for over 300,000 uh, residents here in nor Northwest England uh, lost water pressure. Uh, now there's speculation that the fracking company actually hit the aquifer uh, in this area and it's causing a lot of trouble for the for the for the for the uh community here uh, as far as water pressure but today they lost complete water pressure quadrilla hit a water main so this is the united utilities here in uh northwest england and right now they're actually working on this uh they they blocked access to uh the fracking site they've blocked access to the uh to where, to where they're trying to uh, contain this. They, they don't want too much information out. They don't want to put out too much information. Uh, but they are, they're, they're saying that, uh, you know, it was a, it was an old pipe. Uh, and in this area, that is common, but it is not common for it to actually occur right by the frack site. So right now, over 300,000 people are affected by this. Um, it's kind of uh, ironic how it is a fracking company and we're water protectors and this is what's happened so i mean we're gonna go we're gonna visit here uh we're gonna visit here with uh our good friend julian she's 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 been doing uh, a lot of the work out here as far as against fracking uh hi, hello Jill, how are you hi i'm fine william hi everybody so so what information can you share okay well apparently what's happened today and out on the field is there's been no water the water's been cut off um so it's been, it was cut off this morning at 10 to 8. It's only now that they're fixing it. Um, so that means probably probably 100,000 people have been without water with no notices this morning. Um, down the road, we've got Blackpool, which is a big holiday destination. Um, and it's summertime. So the hotel owners have been ringing in because obviously they've got guests complaining. They've no water. They can't have a shower. They plus the cooking, plus old people, plus hospitals, plus um, things like that. And just speaking to someone uh, from United Utilities, there's a little river on You were just here. speaking, doing what? To United Utilities. She was just speaking with United it's a water Utilities. Company Sorry about that. That have been out all day. Um, so they've been out since uh, 10 to 8 this morning. They've also been in on the fracking site, turning off pipes, turning on pipes. And what was interesting is there's a main gas pipe that runs along the tree line up there. So it'll be going near or into that fracking field. Wow. So, so that's just an update, just to let you guys know. Like I said, yeah. we are here in uh, just, just what, east of Blackpool? Uh, south of Blackpool. South of Blackpool. This of Blackpool. is the field. And so Blackpool's just up the road there, two miles. We've got Lillian St. Anne's down there. Lillian St. Anne's has had no water either. All the supermarkets, all the shops are out bottled water. There's no water to be had. That, that, that's, uh, we uh, haven't even, you know. Imagine if the water table actually got damaged yeah. by the fracking company. Well, then that then you're going to yeah. be really yes. in a ton of trouble. Yeah. And also, you see, the thing is too, is that just the other week, Quadrilla hit an artesian well in the field where they're supposedly building everything. They haven't even properly started fracking yet. They've already hit an artesian well and there's lots of artesian wells and all that there that feeds the aquifers. So it's a... We're concerned. Yeah. That, that, that You must be concerned. You have to be concerned. Yeah. This is the water that you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, if the water is even damaged, then even the water... The, the, the employees of the water company lose all their jobs because they're, they're not going to have water to be... Yeah. So, yeah, there they go. They're, bringing they're coming in. back from uh, fixing the pipe. Hopefully... There'll be some water tonight. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So, William Huck here, reporting live all the way here from Blackpool, England, United Kingdom. And uh, that's what's going on. They're already, already, already having water issues. They're already dealing with water issues. Like she said, that they had... Um, all of the grocery stores were... Yeah, they ran the out of water. You imagine, okay, five miles of Golden Beach that people come to every year. Blackpool at this time of year is packed. You know, it is one of the busiest tourist hotspots in England. Um, so you imagine all those people and every cafe and every shop and every hotel and every B&B &B not having water. 
just for just for Blackpool. Mm. You know, how would you feel going on holiday and you you can't, you know, you can't get a, you can't get a drink or a shower? So all the supermarkets have sold out of water. Imagine if we let and oil companies people. keep doing what they're doing. We're never gonna have water like that. So water. I mean, those are things to think about. These are just I, I say this yeah. is a warning sign for sure. Thank you so much, Jillian. Thank you for all of your hard work. Great water protector. Uh, yeah, all solidarity. The way from all the way from Lancashire. Lancashire. Yeah. All right, you guys. Thanks. Again, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. Oh, share this video out. Be sure to share this video out. People need to be aware of the fracking that's going on, not only in the UK, but in the United States and around the world and, 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 and the destruction that is occurring beneath the earth. Thank you, guys.